Here, we have six cupcakes. I want some. <laughs> Me too. Okay, then let's split up these six cupcakes equally between the three of us. What's the best way to do that? We could put a few on our plates and then add or subtract some until we have equal groups. Or we could count them out one at a time. Both great ideas. Let's start with one cupcake at a time. Now, one more for each of us. That's all of them. This means each of us gets two cupcakes. That's right. We just divided six cupcakes into three equal groups. We can also show what we just did as a math equation. And we can show that as six divided by three. We show division with a symbol like this. It's a little line with two dots. And when those six cupcakes were split into three groups, each group got two cupcakes. Right, that means six divided by three is equal to two. So six is how many you started with, three is how many groups you made, and two is how many are in each group. You got it. We have one more treat. These 24 gumballs. Ooh. <laughs> how can you split this larger number into three equal groups? We can use the same process to do 24 divided by three. Let's split the gumballs one at a time. So this means 24 divided by three equals eight because we each get eight gumballs. Exactly. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all math topics, grades K through eight, and you get to watch it in class, but only if you tell your teacher.